One of my favorite things about this spot is this little walk down. It's a little muddy right now, so you gotta be careful, but such a pretty little view as you're coming down onto the waterfall into the river here. Well, there you can see this river. As you come on, come over this little hill right here, we'll be able to see the waterfall. Oh yeah. Careful here. How pretty is that? Water is beautiful right now too. Crystal clear, not sure if it's showing up on camera, but man. Beautiful. Like a little stairway that's been carved out into the roots here. Makes it a little easier to get down here. Come down and right here is the waterfall. Beautiful. Yeah, the streets out into this pool right here. It's pretty deep out in here. If you guys have seen the channel before, caught a whole bunch of different species of fish out of here. Try to see if we can get up on some today. Weather's been really cold though. It's the first couple days that we've had some decent weather. It's been raining, but temperatures are a little warmer. It's in the low 50s today. So optimistic we can try to locate some fish. All right, got a little worm on this pole. We'll go over here in this corner where we usually find some bluegill and sunfish. See if we can catch us a bait fish real quick. All I brought with me today was worms. Ooh, had a bite right away there. Got one. Oh, it's a bass. Small, large mouth. First fish of the day on the board. Took long enough, been on here for like 25, 30 minutes. Just a little small, large mouth. Right over here in this corner, I'm getting a bunch of bites over here, just haven't been able to hook anything until now. That one. Walleye. Yeah, baby walleye. One lip, you know, you got sharp teeth. Second fish of the day. Out of this little pool. Son of worm. Beautiful little walleye. fish are really cool looking. Let this guy go. Species number two of the day. Not really what we're targeting at the moment, but I'll take it. I just want to catch a little bait fish. Or I'll try to catch some bigger, but Fish is fish. 
All right, a little update. Been out here for about 35, 40 minutes. Caught a really small, largemouth bass and then a small walleye. Uh, on these two poles over here, I just put on a couple worms and tossed them out there. I'm gonna let them just sit. See if someone wants to come along and eat it. In the meantime, I got my little crankbait tied on this pole. I'm gonna throw this around for a little bit. See if I can catch a couple this way. Out there. Got a see if I can find the king of this little hole right here. Catch some big. I've caught big fish out of here before. Gar. Uh, striped bass, decent sized large mouse, catfish. So there are decent sized fish in here. You know, in the four or five plus round, uh, plus pound range. Let's see what it wants to eat right now in the winter time though. Never know in the winter what the bite's gonna be like. last couple weeks especially have been a little up and down i'll go one day and catch 14 <laughs> catfish go the next day and not catch but one fish stuff like that up and down part of fishing though that's why it's called fishing and not catching hopefully something comes along and snatches up one of them poles with the worms on it so i can get some live bait going I wasn't getting any action on the bigger crankbait, so I tied on this, this little small crankbait. See if a smaller presentation works. Cold out here, so I figured the fish are probably pretty lethargic, not wanting to chase too much, especially anything huge. So, see if something a little smaller will work. None of the artificials are working, so I'm going back over here to my corner with a worm. See if we can find another one over here. Alright, when all else fails, go to a jig head with a little paddle tail. Had pretty good luck with these in the past when you can't get nothing else to bite, so I'm just gonna throw it around, see if I can bites with it Got another walleye. I'm gonna dig with the chartreuse paddle tail. Just slow dragging it across the bottom. Fish number three. Second walleye of the day. Walleye sauger, so I got one of them three. Fish are cool. I like to catch a bigger one, but hey, I'm not gonna complain right now. Got another one. And another walleye.
It's the smallest one of the day. Another good looking little fish though. I like to catch your parents, one of your parents one of these times, but alright. Three walleye and a large mouth bass now. Oh, that was another bite right there. Felt like another little walleye the way it bit it. Got another one. Another walleye. Walleye number four, fish number five. They've all been the same size right here too. It must be pulled up right here on this real shallow right here because they keep biting real shallow. Maybe like 10 to 15 feet out from the bank right here. They keep biting. All I'm doing is just casting it out, letting it sink to the bottom, and then just slow reeling, almost dragging it across the bottom. Do that long enough and I think we got a couple more bites right there. I keep trying to cut the camera off to save my battery because I'm down to 5% and I don't have an extra battery. Every time I do I catch another fish. So you guys aren't actually seeing the hookup on these. y'all right, that's gonna do it for today's video I was able to come out here and catch a few fish fortunately I wasn't able to catch the target species I was after but I was able to catch a few little walleye and one large mouth so I say it was a successful day all together anytime you can come out and catch a fish in the winter I count it as a win these last few days I went fishing wasn't able to catch anything so it felt good to come out here and catch a few fish I appreciate you guys tuning in make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one peace